Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode if on a winter's night for travelers. Last time we left off we were playing as the doctor who seems to be subject to some racism. Which blows. So, let's check some stuff out. Sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. Try to write down as much as I can when I wake up, but there's so much I'm missing. The chapel in the wilderness, fire among the moaning trees. A theater, a dripping blade, the hateful whispers of the dead. A sunken library where memories are drowned and voices from the past echo in the darkness. What does it all mean? Beats me, man. Y yeah, we also found out you're doing some kind of, uh, ritual. Yeah. Always hilarious to see somebody doing a ritual, but they have, like, a cross above their bed. The neighbors again. Always the same fighting and screaming. The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched. After months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. Beyond the veil. It is a lower magical process to make the guardian of the threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture in a number of substances. Truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not, then, to cross the threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. So you're basically summoning a demon. And yeah, that's the threshold where they're going to be t uh, kept. And we're actually giving it form. There's a spot in my heart that's becoming a part of my New York. <sighs> I truly thought things would be different here. The theme? My ritual dagger. I will need it later. Fiery summons. Menzikova's Forbidden Opus in six volumes. This is the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violent mantle shall devour Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald, and engulf in crimson all that belongs to Mars. A raging azure inferno for Jupiter, a black grave for Saturn. I think I have it memorized now. Is that the incantation, or just when you're supposed to do this, because you're talking about the astral chart? I'm imagining it's something like eclipses and stuff. Yeah, I almost forgot. Mr. William's morphine is in my pocket. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But this tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. Yeah, that blows. Okay, so I grabbed that. What is this? Bed? I'm afraid of sleeping. Yeah, that's always rough. If I perform the ritual correctly, the Guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart... Well, I have nothing to lose anyway. Yeah? I mean, that's always how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, you, not, you gotta not be scared of this terrifying thing, and maybe it'll give you superpowers. Iron bowl covered in red rust. Ball of black lead. Copper bowl, green from corrosion. I always thought it was so neat how copper turns green when it corrodes. It's kind of a pretty green, too. Alright, I think I've gotten most of this stuff. I haven't gotten this, or the herb jars. The Wound Man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some particularly interesting notes. The sun rules the intellect, Venus makes the heart yarn. Mercury is the hand in darkness, Mars wields the sword. Jupiter hungers for power and casts Saturn's genitals into the sea. I will need this later. The wound, man. I wonder if that, like, that that sounds like it'd be a real thing, but it's just such an interesting concept of it showcasing different wounds that someone can have. And how they affect the body. That sound, it sounds like a horse is walking. It's like, like, clop, clop. These are the ingredients I require for the first part of the ritual. I need to burn the appropriate herb in each bowl. Before I get started, I should bring Mr. Williams' morphine. It's the most complete treaty I have found on the esoteric use of herbs and plants. This is the passage I need. The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. 
Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter. The hemlock is Nate Saturn's blessing. I think I have it memorized now. Those are all herbs I recognize. Two corridor. All right, who needs their thingy? What's that? That's like a. This must be the bath. Why, why is there a sink here? I thought this was the bathroom. The Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days it will end in tragedy. Tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never really change, even here. Well, things are probably going to change when we summon the demon. Good evening, Miss Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize, I got held up at the hospital today. How's he doing? Not good, not good, doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. Ain't the, and that cough, it ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's... I'm so sorry, Miss Williams, I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is about to we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain, at least. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. You need to thank me, Miss Williams. It's my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. Well, there we go. Stairs lead up onto the street. I have nothing to do out there. The ritual awaits. Okay, so now we're gonna go... Perform the ritual. Alright, Dr. Samuels. Let's see what you can do, huh? So... Iron bowl covered in red rust. So, are we actually gonna do it now? Let's go to the herb jars. Alright, I can begin the final preparations now. Oh, no. Well, I know we needed hemlock. And that goes... Oh, no. Alright, um... So... I, I need to find out which bowl corresponds to what. Because there's a lead bowl, a copper bowl, an iron bowl. But they listed, like, six... Deities, basically? The stars are right. Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. They're months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched. So Mars, Venus, and Saturn are all we really need to worry about. I mentioned the passage I need. The sun burns in golden flames. A violet mantle, a violet mantle shall cover Mercury. Cast ye the symbol of Venus onto flames of emerald. An engulfing crimson. So, yeah. Raising azure, a black grave for Saturn. And we need Mars, Venus, and Saturn. So that's what that's what we have here. So Venus, Mars, Saturn. And okay, the sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury. Smells of fresh hyssop. Wormwood rolls over Mars. Okay, so we need wormwood, rose, and hemlock. Gotcha. So wormwood, wormwood. Uh, I think it was that one, right? Shit. Uh, no, 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 no. That's not what I need. This. So let's just focus on one f right off the bat. I think it was rose for Venus. Yeah, Venus is the sweetness of Rose. Let's do them one at a time. It's easier than trying to memorize them all at once. So, Venus was covered in green, right? There we go. Mars needed... Uh... Wormwood. I didn't mean to interact with that twice. And I think it's Hemlock for Saturn. Uh, so Mars needed Wormwood. There we are. Mars. I never thought I'd be doing a, a crazy ritual here. Alright, and just to confirm... And Hemlock is Saturn's blessing. There we go. And put that in the good old lead bowl, and this should be it. The elements are aligned. Now I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. 
Okay, ritual dagger, it is time. Let's do it. Flesh. Uh, oh no. No. My hand is hesitating, this doesn't feel right. I must start again. So wait, am I having doubts? I'm trying to figure out- Alright, take a deep breath, face the fear, try again. Stars are aligned. Moment, uh, what, what, truly terrible spectre currency, he will need all this, wait, 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 I'm trying to figure out what, my magic process made the guardian, the special physical, the uh, truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician, and he will need all the presence of mind and faith. Okay, well, I know that, but wasn't there a certain order, or a certain thing I was supposed to cut? Are the rituals complete? Um, is this? I must now wound myself three times. The sun rules the intellect. Ah, okay. So, heart... Hand... Or, no, 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 no. Heart... It wasn't Mercury, it was Mars. So, heart... Mars wields the sword. And... Genitals. Heart something genitals. Hmm. Okay. Heart something generals. It says it wields the sword, so maybe it's the right hand? So... Heart... Ugh. Okay. Then, uh, right hand? Because it wields the sword. Okay, I said that was right. And groin. Ugh. Do not like- Yes, that was it. It's time to enter the circle. Is it a circle? Well, I guess it is kind of a circle, but it has a triangle in the middle of it. There we go. Uh... What? What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. Ardent is Fortuna Ivat. This... Oh boy, I don't like the look of this. Oh boy, things are great over here. Is that a skeleton in the wall? Where am I? Is this really the other side? It looks like a clicker stuck to a wall from The Last of Us. That, that must be the Guardian at long last. Must remain calm and focused. I have prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Wound man. Yep. The light is sickening. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. If ever, scribbles? These look like notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched blackened stump, all of my acts of kindness undone. Do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has been all this has all been for nothing. I cannot turn back now. God help me if he still remembers my name. Strange. Okay, so you regretted it, basically. You're like, this did not go how I think it was gonna go. How much pain am I gonna have to endure? Alright, wound man, the moment has come. O oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way, I face thee without fear. Soil, bitter, blood, void, price. Okay. Putrid, rotten, price, price, taken, scorn, price. Right. Failed, trapped, flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. I feel like this is you from some sort of alternate dimension. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek knowledge, healing, or revenge. Well, you do seek revenge, so. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek revenge. Teach me thy lessons of wrath, that I may humiliate my enemies. 
Scorn, blood, void, empty spill, price. Adversary, flesh, sacred blood. Ephis, blade, blood. I... I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the Guardian. What am I meant to do now? Who art thou, then? Speak thy name! Once Jordan ever trapped, always doctored together. Yep, so you're me. Gone scalpel was unboth worth Samuel's we. Trapped punish both ever punish flesh. Madness, I am Jordan Samuel's me. No, it seems like this is possibly a vile tr creature, a trickster. Ha ha. Le ha ha ha. Yeah, so this is you when you make this decision. This is like a vision of what's to come, Jordan. Don't do this. <clears throat> Where am I? What is this place? Present, other, same, crossroad, yester, tagler. All can never get time, built ties, possible tomorrow both. Can barely makes sense of this gibberish. A crossroad? Is this what this place is? Some sort of limbo? Why is the Guardian not here? I carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Sacred, all, burn, erase, price. Mind, salute, purpose, flesh, fi, soul. Not on enough, only, not enough, only one failure. This makes no sense. None of the text I read mentioned something like this. Wasting my time. I will not get any answers here. I need to try and make sense of all this. Mm hmm. Basically trying to say that what you're doing is pointless and he's a future version of you that's trying to tell you, Dude, don't do this. I just get tortured here for years. These look like my notes, yeah. Uh-huh. Strange. Alright, I guess we're leaving. Oh, it's broken. It's like there's no going back through here. Light is sickening. So I can't leave now. We're stuck here. But he has slept here in a long time. Am I gonna have to pixel hunt? What was that? Scribbles, I think. Lamp. There was a passage in the book. Illumine the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will now no longer be available to thee. But the light seems to be keeping him alive. Taking it away might kill him. But it is my craving for revenge that has brought me here. This fire is mine, it belongs to me. Nothing shall stand in my way, not even myself. Won't this also kill you, though? I shall not waver, I shall not fail. A warning, but I shall not fail. Yeah. Okay, so what, what do you expect to do now that you have the lamp? You're still stuck in this room. Whatever, man. Ribbles? So does this mean I did write this? Or no, some other me, the one who fails. Cannot think about this now, I must push onwards. Bed? I slept here. Light is sickening. So where do I go? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure... Oh! Okay, there's darkness over here, I just walk into that. Gotcha. It's a corridor. Okay, yeah, and this leads outside. Oh yeah, things look great out here. The Johnsons. Something terrible happened here. You don't say. Okay, what about you? That's a heart. Mrs. Williams, is that you? Are you alright? You monster! You killed him, you monster! Okay. Now let this get to me. It is a test, just a test. I did what I had to. Not let this get. Okay. Ulcer. Dear Lord, is it alive? No. 
The stairs, they no longer go up to the street, but downwards. Exit, let's go. Yep, so we killed him, according to you. Oh, I thought this entire chapter was going to be relegated to that one area. And no, I cannot see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. But it has to be this way. There's nowhere else to go. <sighs> Alright. Oh, that doesn't look good. Like weird green mucus. There are books and loose pages floating in the water. Where could they have come from? I recognize those bookshelves. I've seen this place before, in dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors trying to find something. But I cannot remember what or why. Maybe the dreams you were having were, was the shitty version of yourself that you just saw. Maybe you were experiencing that life in your dreams. Most of these books are moldy and rotten, but some of them are in surprisingly good condition. Alright. Let's keep exploring. Okay. Man, this 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 chapter is so cool so far. I really, really like this one. It's definitely leaning much more into the horror part than the other ones are. Handbound volumes upon volumes of sheet music. Most of them are too moldy to make anything else. I always like this sort of unsettling horror like this. It's always really neat. Are you the librarian? I would imagine so. Hi. God! Another creature? Is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I am here? Does it simply not care? Should I try making my presence known? Here! My name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Art thou the keeper of this place? Paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. It seems to be something else. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27th, 1897. Memory of Dr. Samuels, field medic. Memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. Memory of that darky down the street. Oh, God. Memory of Mr. Samuels, music aficionado. That is me. That is my life. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God, that's totally a slur, isn't it? Oh, that's totally a slur. Not one I'm familiar with, but I could see it being one. Barely make these out. Most of them don't even have titles. They look like diaries and manuscripts. Oh, jeez. Whispers. They seem to be coming from this corridor. These shelves are full of diaries. Many of them are still secured with small metal locks. So they're like cataloging your entire life whispers. They seem to be coming from this corridor. They're cata cataloging your entire life. Humidity and mold have damaged them beyond recognition. Could these have been drafts of stories? Last wills? Confessions, maybe? Uh, that bookshelf is whispering to me. Stacks and stacks of loose pages. Most of them handwritten, but some are typed. The whispers are coming from this book. There's a note inside. And not any note. That note. That furiously scribbled threat slipped into my mailbox one night. Always the stares, the murmurs undered under their breath. Or the jeers and the scoffs if they felt courageous enough. I can feel my blood boil just looking at it. Me too! Is this what it wants? To remind me of why I'm doing this? To strengthen my resolve? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. Okay. Did we bring it? Because the whispers are still making noise back there. No, it's making noise around us. To showcase that we are holding it now. It wants the book. Uh... Yeah, ew. 
Did not expect that. What am I doing here? Was I not... Was holding... Was I carrying something? Oh, you just erased the memory. Perhaps it was like that dream. It looks so much like this place. Was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? No, I think we should go find more. We're basically destroying our memories, possibly the bad ones? These are all look like children's books. Bedtime stories, fables, fairy tales. Is this gonna be about my childhood or are we gonna find out we lost a child or something? Mm, it's growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? It's coming from inside this photo album. This... this is my family. Grandparents, father, aunt, mother. So this baby she is holding must be... me. But I have never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. Oh, jeez. So we're gonna... Is this just eliminating our childhood in general? I thought we would have some trauma associated with childhood that we want to get rid of. Wants the book. Are you just trying to erase me as a person? Is that what's going on here? You're just gonna erase all my memories so I don't remember all the horrible things that have happened? Because that's not good. What am I doing here? Was I not... Was holding? Was I carrying something? Perhaps it was that dream. Yeah, okay. Paying no attention to me whatsoever. It looks like he's trying to hear something else. Okay, so there is something else for me to get. There is another one. I haven't heard anything, though. Is it back here? Yes. Music is very close now. There must be a gramophone hidden somewhere. Another classical song that I recognize the tune of, but don't know the name. <laughs> There's no gramophone. The music is coming from inside this book. Sheet music for Fritz Kresler's Liebschled. Of course it is. Uh, yeah, I, I butchered that. The day I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of Medicine and Surgery, I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on a fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. It did seem back then like I was destined for great things. But why this? Why now? Why am I even here to start with? Maybe if I take the book back to that creature, I will get some answers. I really do like friends, huh? In this game. Also... Yeah, at that point you thought you were destined for great things, but the status quo loves to just shit on people and never change. Wants the book. What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding, was I carrying something? Oh yeah, if you heard a weird noise earlier, by the way, that was my cat. He decided he was gonna talk to me. Co-commentate, if you will. Thanks for that, buddy. All right, let's go find this last memory. Oh, it's crying. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that. I was clicking to move and the text popped up. Shit. I have no idea what that said. I was just clicking to move and my character stopped and said something, but I couldn't see what it was. It was probably just like, oh, I hear a woman crying up this way. It's coming from this book. Your wife? The letter inside. This envelope, this handwriting, I don't even need to open it. I'm sorry, Eunice, you deserve so much more. But you, New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. I was so wrong, I wish I could undo all the pain I caused you. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there's only one way to know. So did you leave her? To pursue this dream of yours? It also seems like you were in the war. Which is neat. Although, being in a war isn't neat, but... I'm pretty sure World War II had one of the first African-American platoons, or was that World War One? At least on the U.S. side. Wants the book. Here you go. What am I doing here? Was I not... There's more? 
Huh, I thought four would have been it. There's still more to get rid of, huh? Are we just gonna purge all of our memories? And I guess that is, is the point I was trying to make earlier, is that might be what we're doing. I don't know if there's anything else left, though. Is the problem now. I don't really have a map of this place, and it's kind of hard for me to tell where I've been and haven't been. I think this is where... Yeah, this is where I found the music. Right there. So, have I been down here? So my cat just screams for no reason. What is that noise? It sounds as if a battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. Yeah, so the war. We're gonna purge that memory. Barely read any titles. Was it that one? Uh, bookshelves. Where's that noise coming from? Over here? These are all about the Great War. Diaries, maps, field reports. The Great War? That should have been World War One, right? Mm-hmm. Bookshelf. There we go. I always want to look for bookshelf, because that's usually the one. It's coming from this book here. A map to Charles France, September 1918. They called us the Harlem Hellfighters. Yep. We took that village while bombs rained on us like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. Yep, the Harlem Hellfighters. Yeah, so we are talking about World War One, I, I do believe. World War Two is later... Honestly, I know less about the world wars than I probably should. Is the screen shaking? Oh, no, that was because I was rubbing against the wall, I think. Um, I've watched uh, a few documentaries about the world war, but like I said, most of my history is in um, Asian history. So I know very little. Once the book. I do have to know some funny anecdotes and stuff about it, though. Okay. And we're falling. What is that? A new area? Okay. Is this a... Tr Where am I? How did I get here? I can't remember anything. Who... Who am I? Yeah, I was about to say, this is a war zone, isn't it? There's barbed wire, there's like sandbags here. This looks like a trench, actually. And yeah, there's a shell crater and a dead horse. Dear lord, what happened here? Crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a battle take place here? My cat really wants some attention right now. Alright, so... There we go. The banner? Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. Alright, I now have a cat up here with me because he absolutely needed to be. Okay. He was like, yeah, the field hospital. Looks like a makeshift infirmary. I'm somehow familiar with these kits. Okay, so you were a... medic. Church bell? The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have sustained a terrible bombing. Bloody sheets and what seems to be corpses. This must be an improvised field hospital. Yep. Okay. Baptismal font. There's some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. Yeah, they're doing baptisms and stuff here for the people that are going to die. Stretcher. Bloody sheets and what seem to be corpses. Same stuff. There's the confessional. Alright, kitty, you need to get down. You're not staying still. <laughs> if only he would have gotten up here and just, like, laid down, but he's, like, walking around rubbing on things. In a minute, buddy. Confessional is still standing. How is this possible? Uh-huh. 
So I guess we're talking to Reverend Williams. Oh! Dr. Samuels, welcome to the Chapel Perilous. I've been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What did you call me? It's all right, I know what you've done. It's all gone now, your name. But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity in your hands, and acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But the soul of yours, this kindness, you needed for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The... Guardian? Ah, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian, like the texts say. I must become a perfect and glorious being or fall prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And you do also remember what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I came here seeking revenge. Yes, and yet it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of the strength needed to take the full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Years, many years ago, you did not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions. This has been a burden. Today you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men. You left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then, you didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me. And I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. William. So you're the person I gave the medicine to for the tuberculosis, right? And that's why you're saying I freed you? And the wife was saying I killed you? Gauze bandages covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands! Only an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is... I... I am a doctor. 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 Not here. Left. He left. Not here. He has been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been blown off almost completely, and he is delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours or days if he is unfortunate. He is holding on to a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. What is your name, soldier? Shh, shh. Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back, help me sleep, but he left. He left. Shh. Oh, this is horrible. Bloody sheets. Yep, yeah, that's not going to help. Medical supplies. We need to go get some antibiotics. Oh, God. And that guy's missing legs. Another bomb or a mine. A jar with some opium pills. Eight. Maybe ten? Must have been here for a very long time. Opium in tablet form is not very common anymore. If that is the case, they've probably lost a great deal of their potency. We need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all of this? So, opium? Somebody needs opium? Am I, am I only going to be able to choose one? Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. Sorry, I've been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? Oh, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my fucking brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me and you never look back, you bastard. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fella, ain't he? He remembers everything, over and over. He just wants to sleep, the poor guy, but he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans, sometimes, when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his, his, there's a name echoing again and again. His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. Yep. He's waving a gun around. Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. What do you like for me to do that? Again. Not a chance, Doctor. Get me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. What is your name? 
Name's Luke, Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Leave. Okay. The plank has almost collapsed. I don't think it's safe to cross. Okay, I need a bullet for you. Not sure where I would get one, though. No recollection of any of the things you mentioned. It somehow rings true. Uh, wait, what? Some water will help him swallow the pills, but I need a container. Okay. Hmm. Alright, let's talk. Uh, let's not talk to you yet, I don't think. Medical supplies? There's nothing left of use here. Church bell. The bell tower's been blown to smithereens. Okay, so I need something to hold water in to help the person swallow the pills. I don't think it's safe to cross. Banner's familiar. I need a bullet, too. Where am I supposed to get a bullet? There must be some little thing I'm missing somewhere around here. Not sure what the church bell, soldier, medical supplies, stretcher, baptismal font. Yeah. Wait, what? Bloodied by she's covering a body, and what is that? It looks like a flask. Where? Canteen, there we go. Cool. That's what I need. An empty canteen. Alright, fill that up in the font. This will have to do. There we go. Now I need you to take these pills. Here, soldier, you can sleep now. Sorry for having kept you here so long. Oh. These must be the people we abandoned during the war. I mean, they said that at the beginning, but I hope the pain is finally over. Like, what I mean by abandon them is we never actually saw what happened to them, so we're giving our character here some closure. Because they probably feel guilty about just abandoning these people. Kind of left here to suffer. I have no recollection of any of the things you mentioned. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Soldier. Half his jaw has been shot off. He is alive somehow, but barely conscious. He is also bleeding from his stomach, but this is not a gunshot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. Cannot even begin to imagine his agony. Yeah, one interesting thing I know about, uh, it was either World War One or World War Two, is um, both sides actually came together during a war and decided to ban serrated blades because something that people started doing is they would serrate their bayonets and then stab someone in the stomach and pull out their entrails leave them in no man's land this isn't something you die from quickly and they would kind of be pecked at by like rats and crows until they died it was a horrible horrible way to die so both sides said okay no more serrated blades because it's basically only for pulling out the entrails from the stomach, so people were doing it just to be spiteful. He's wearing an ammo belt. Maybe there's some ammunition left in it, but I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him. I'm sorry, I've been told what I did even though I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. How am I supposed to help you? She's what seems to be corpses. Must be an improvised hospital. Yeah, I know. So I need to help you some way, and I have no idea how to do that. Um, there's probably something on one of these stretchers. Nothing left of use. Bell towers and blood smithereens. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do, because I need the ammo to get rid of you. I mean, that's... <laughs> God, that's a very dark way of putting it. Um... Pillow. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, I hate it. He will no longer need this. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it big time. Yep, we're gonna smother him. And take his ammo. Oh, God, this is dark. Time to go home, soldier. Oh, God, to have to do this to someone. Oh, I hate it. Can take these bullets now. Yep, 
You're gone. Okay. Goodbye, Jim. Alright, the final soldier. And I guess this goes with my theory of all the characters being someone that's killed someone. I found what you wanted. Because we technically killed someone too. Haha, <laughs> well I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought the day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. Ugh. God. This is horrible. I dislike. I hope you found your peace at last. Now we go into the confessional, right? It is done. Alright, time to go confess. I am ready, Reverend. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I... don't... know. I... I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. The only thing I feel is... empty, hollowed out. I'm so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not. You've done well. How? What does that mean? Doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing, not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since, with every action, every decision. Every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But, fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now go. Oh, God. Yup. Dr. Samuel, so glad you could make it. The boys and I have been waiting for you. You must be so excited, oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much, so much. Well, let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. They're all bodies. Oh, no, no, don't bother. There's nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now, and you shall speak only through us. Oh. Now pay attention. Yeah, we've, we've lost everything. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. Uh, oh, I gotta click on the certain people. Useless, 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 again! Uh... You disappoint me, Doctor, again! Did I have to remember the combination? Can you, like, say it again? Listen carefully. I have, so top left, bottom, below that, so boom, 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 and then that one right there. Yeah, okay. Okay, I know. Repeat now, doctor. Okay. I have given my mind to the waters. Excellent. Peel back the first layer now. And listen, listen carefully. The one Simon says, I have consigned my soul to the what flames. Okay. Repeat, Doctor. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Good, good. Now the second layer. Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Do it now. This is some really messed up stuff. Now listen once more. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, doctor. Now surrender 
my flesh to the blade. Excellent, excellent. Now the retractor. Stretch the skin, open the yawning gate, the hungry void awakes, awaits. Oh god, am I gonna open my stomach? Now listen one last time. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Repeat, okay. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Yes, yes, you know what to do, you know what to do. Open the threshold, open the path to the Guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Oh god, yeah, we opened up our stomach, and there's our entrails. Ugh. Alright, let's get out of here, I guess. Let's go see this. We've been through a lot of shit. I hope this is worth it. I hope this revenge is very sweet. Because it kind of needs to be. There's our mask, I think. What is this? Ah, oh, the hollow one at last. Feels like I've been stuck here for an eternity. Oh. Uh, very well then, let us get this over with already. Exists no more now. Oh. Yes, yes at last. So everything we just did was like a different version of us suffering for the current real world version of us. Is this everything we are then? Alright, let's go. I should not cross without that invitation. Where did I... Oh, we need the invite. Yep. Because you have the mask and everything. Time to get out of here. And now we're going to be on the train. So wait, I remember nothing after that. So is the train in like weird purgatory? <gasps> well, that's quite a story. Question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test for me, for all of us? Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Layla, could I have a word? Ah. <sighs> Please excuse me, if you will. Yeah, we're... It's like a purgatory or something. As I was saying... Say, is it getting hot here? Does feel like it. Or we're on our way to hell. Hello, Ghost Rider. What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. And you know it's not allowed. What do you find so fascinating about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten by their own hand, even. But we can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what did you mean by that? By what? By their own hand, even. If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I don't know. They just told me you heard. No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell any- You gave them masks, you sent invitations, you collected them. I- You can't do this, they were meant for below, you know how strict the numbers are, are you insane? They- These ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. This is not your call to make. I know, I'm really sorry, it won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... All right, all right. I, w I won't say anything, but please don't do that ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below, just a little less deep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even. Maybe never. Still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. They're going to get us sent to the swamps one day. This is hell. They're going to a higher layer because this Layla character saved them from having to deal with the much shittier layer. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Fauna Winter's Night for Travelers. 
Oh, so that was the final story, this story from Layla. Right? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, that was really good. That had some awesome storytelling and the art was amazing, so... Basically, what I get from this ending is that these were all characters that ended up killing themselves. And so they were going to go to an even deeper layer of hell. But this character specifically invited them on this train, which is apparently for the, you know, people that, that, that died better and are going to a better version of hell to save them from the eternal suffering and redemption lottery, as it was called, which sounds awful. A death blow is like a life blow to some, who till they died did not alive become, who had they lived had died, but when they died, vitality begun. Emily Dickinson. Thank you for playing. Thank you for existing. I actually bought the DLC for this game. It's normally free, but there's a $4 DLC that gets you the soundtrack and the art book. So I got it just because I wanted to support the developers, because this is a very, very good little adventure and had some neat stuff in it, so... I guess that's it for If on a Winter's Night for Travelers, so I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. We'll also see if... maybe I should wait to see if there's anything after. Okay, there's nothing. Alright, so I'll see you next time for something new.